Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Barbieri and I'm here today to tell you about our recent paper on Hawaiian monkseal reproductive pathogen surveillance. So reproductive success is vitally important for population stability and growth, and it's of particular importance for endangered species like the Hawaiian monk seal. There's considerable variation in individual seal to seal reproductive performance across the range of the species. The factors that affect this variability in reproductive performance are not very well understood. Probably they're multifactorial, but we wanted to look at the disease aspect of this. Previous serologic studies found evidence of exposure to several pathogens, some of which are associated with reproductive failure. We decided to take advantage of some opportunistically collected placental samples from 2011 to evaluate monk seal reproductive health. Fresh placental tissues were subsampled and fixed and frozen, and we ended up with samples from 50 monk seals, about a quarter of the known births that year. We screened them by both histology and by PCR to see if we could detect any evidence of reproductive disease at a level that might be contributing to this variable reproductive success that we see in the species. We also made sure that the females sampled had ages of primaparity and reproductive rates that were comparable to the entire female population at large. Molecular tests screened for brucella, chlamydophila, herpes virus, leptospira, and toxoplasma. And the end result, all of these tests were negative. We didn't detect any evidence of disease in the fixed tissues or by PCR. So why are these negative results important? Well, first of all, I mentioned earlier that the pathogens that we tested for have at least been detected in the serum of a handful of seals. So we can rest a little more easily now that they were not detected in placental tissues. And even if some of them escaped our detection, we can estimate with 99% confidence that the prevalence of pathogens we looked for is no more than 9%. Compared to other marine mammal species, 9% prevalence is quite low. So in conclusion, what this means is that the reproductive variability that has been observed in Hawaiian monk seals is probably not driven by lurking diseases, and instead is a result of other ecological factors, such as interspecific competition and prey availability, both of which are known risk factors for survival in the species. We hope you'll take a look at our paper. Thanks very much for tuning in.